Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. It's Brit Shanae, aka Brittany, and I'm here today to give you guys an update on my debt payoff journey. So I'm really happy to announce that I have paid off my car. So first of all, this may seem minor to some people, but let me tell you, if you have a car payment, you already know that it is not fun paying your car every month. Like, I understand, you know, we took out a loan to, you know, afford the car or to be able to pay the car and then pay that loan back. But you know what? It's not fun having to pay back every month a car payment it's just not and my car payment was five hundred dollars like that's a lot of money to be kicking out that is half of a thousand dollars to be kicking out every month that's a lot so i have my notes guys that i'm going to be going down a list of things with you just to explain a few things about this process just where i stand with my debt payoff journey um the steps it took me to get to pay my car off a year early well 10 months early basically a year yes i just wanted to go over these things with you guys just so you can kind of stick with me throughout my journey and see where i stand so if you want to see what i have to say about my debt payoff journey then stay tuned so i have my handy dandy notes here with me so i can basically keep on track and not ramble when it comes to explaining this process to you guys and where i stand so one i want to go over how my debt payoff journey has been going two i'm going to go over the process of paying my car off almost a year early three i want to go over how paying my car off affected me in other aspects and also next steps is the last thing i want to go over so i must say my debt payoff journey has been going I mean outstanding to be honest you guys I kind of like I said that I wanted to do this and that I was gonna basically go full force with it but you know sometimes you have doubts and which is not abnormal and so I definitely was like you know more so like not knowing how the future was gonna go with this journey but I knew that it was something I wanted to put my mind to and that I was gonna get it done regardless of what circumstances came up so my debt journey has been going amazing. I basically have been going along with the Dave Ramsey baby steps. I'm on baby step number two, which is paying your debt off. And yes, I'm just, I, now my lowest debt was paying my car off. So not sure if I mentioned this in my last video, but I did have a credit card that I paid off and that was only like 200 something dollars that needed to be, like that needed to be added to that. So that wasn't really anything big. But I paid that one off and then I paid my car off. And so I've been working from January of this year to October of this year to pay my car off. So I just want to let you guys know that I was able to pay $12,117.76 between January and the first week of December in this year. Y'all, that's 10 months. I paid $12,000 on just my car. That's not any other debt payments I've made. That's just for my car. I mean, I have to honestly pat myself on the back because that is a big number. I mean, $12,000. People don't have that just to throw around, you know? So that's my hard-earned money, dollars, coin, that I've used, I mean, to, you know, get this paid off sooner than it would have needed to be paid off. So I'm just happy for myself for doing that because that is a big accomplishment. So I'm going to clap for myself because I'm very proud of myself for doing that. So I must say that with the current state of our country and us being closed down, I've been working from home with my full-time job since March. I think that has attributed tremendously towards my ability to pay off my auto loan sooner. I mean, I would have had it paid off, but... The fact that I'm staying home and saving so much money in other aspects, it helped so much. So although, you know, it's so much pain within this, everything going on, this was kind of like a, a good thing for me because just based on the shutdown, um, I was able to pay, make so many extra payments towards my loan because I didn't have to pay for transportation, for work. That is approximately $350 a month. That's a lot of money. Um, also my federal loan, my federal student loan has been on administrative forbearance since I think February or something. So I've not had to make any payments on that and it's not accruing interest. So that's why I've kind of put that on the back burner until it actually starts to pick back up because this was my time to get my car paid off. So yes, I have to say the working from home helped so much. I mean, I'm not paying gas. I'm not paying for transportation for work. I'm not paying so many other things that I have to pay if I was to go to work. 
Yeah, so but by me not having to pay those other things, I was able to put so much more money onto my loan. I mean, I was making at least double payments a month, at least. So I'll make sure I add this on the screen, but I'm just gonna go down um, just the line to tell you guys what I paid every month. In May, I actually made three payments on my car payment. So in May, I basically decided that I was going to start at least making double payments on my loan. Um, and when I could make more than that. So I, in May, um, I paid two $500 payments and then I made a payment of $615. In June, I made two payments of 500 again. In July, I made three payments of $500. And then I made an extra payment of $300. In August, I made two payments. One was of $920. The other one was for $1,390. In September, I made two payments. I made three payments, I'm sorry. In September, I paid $1,354 for one. Then I paid $500 and I also paid another $500 payment. So that was three payments in September. And in October, I made my final payment of $538.07. So, as you guys can see, I did not play any games. I basically put my mind up to paying this off. And, you know, I had so much extra money left over after I paid my bills and everything. So, I was like, you know what? Let me just put this extra money right onto my car loan. Because the sooner I can get rid of this $500 payment, which was such a burden to me sometimes, you know, not so much this year because I was able to get a new job that paid better. But with my prior jobs, I wasn't getting paid the best amount of money. And so I kind of struggled with paying that huge amount. And so, yes, I'm super excited that I was able to pay that off. Um, it's such a big milestone for me because this is definitely something I manifested. Even on my vision board, I said at the beginning of the year that I wanted to pay off my debt. And you know what? I'm just so thankful and blessed that I have the ability to do that and that I'm in the space where I can, I was able to get this accomplished. So I thank the Lord for that. Let's talk about how paying my car off can affect other things or rather has affected other things. So I wanted to spin off into the aspect of credit. So paying your debt off is so crazy because paying your debt off literally can lead to your credit decreasing because credit is surrounded by paying your debt or just having debt more so and I guess you can say just making sure you're in good standing with your debt like paying your loans on time things like that making on time payments and things like that that helps and benefits your credit when you pay debt off so far as what I'm seeing is that my credit has gone down um, after paying my credit card and after paying my car loan off because both of those accounts were closed out. And so that is more so affecting your credit when it comes to credit history. I had both of these things for years. I mean, at least like five years, I think. So that is gonna affect your credit because credit history is important and that weighs in your um, ranking basically of your credit and like, you know, just within the score and how it builds. So yes, my credit has definitely gone down. After the credit card, my credit went down from like a 718 to a 650 and this is Experian. My TransUnion and my Equifax didn't really move off of my credit card. My, for my auto loan being paid off, all three moved. Um, I believe actually Equifax stayed the same. My TransUnion is lower. It went, actually my TransUnion went from like 660 something to 640 something if I'm not mistaken. And my Experian went from 650 to, if I'm not mistaken, 630 something. I believe it went down about 16 points. So that is a disappointment because I'm, for one, in the process of looking for an apartment. So I just hope that my credit score is in good standing by the time I get to the point of actually applying for an apartment. And also, I think it's just discouraging when it comes to you you know, being in the process of paying your debt off, like being on this journey and seeing, you know, I'm paying my debt off. I'm getting out of, you know, the space where I want to just, I'm so comfortable with taking, you know, loans for things and then, you know, just being like, okay, I'm gonna pay it off. I'm gonna pay it back as I go. So I don't want to be stuck in the mindset of having debt. I don't want, I want to get out of that mindset and I'm okay with that. 
Um, but it's just kind of discouraging when it comes to you being on the journey and your credit score goes down because you're paying your debt off. So another area in my life in which was impacted from paying my auto loan is definitely just my ability to save money and just the fact that I have more money in my pocket. So, I mean, I'm able to save that $500 that I was paying for my monthly car payment in addition to any extra funds that I had and that I was putting on top of that. So I'm able to make extra payments on my student loans if I want to, but also which leading to my next step, which is next steps um, after paying my auto loan, I am looking to move out into my own apartment. And so I actually am going to pause on paying any additional payments for my, my other loans right now, just because it's important for me to save up some money for me to move out into my own apartment. So me being able to save money right now helps me because I'm able to save up a few months of rent, basically. Um, also, furniture costs money and things like that. So that would be a great security blanket for me, just to have those extra funds. And it's, it's smart, I think, to put a pause on paying those extra funds and in the meantime, just right now, until I move out. And then I'll also, you know, continue on with my paying additional funds or paying additional payments for my other loans. I'm just so excited guys because this was a huge milestone for me paying my car off early and I'm proud of myself and I hope I can just inspire you guys to pay your debt off earlier than you know it's supposed to be paid off. It's just it's not fun being in debt. It's not fun owing somebody money and you know we spend so many years paying this debt off. I mean interest accruing the debt is higher than what you initially got it for. You know, it's so much that goes into it. And to be honest, if you can avoid getting debt, don't get in debt. Pay off your loans earlier than need be. Do it. If you have the funds, do it. It's so worth it in the long run. If you can avoid getting a loan, do it. Because at this point, you know, Dave Ramsey agrees with the point of cash flow and everything. He says that you should cash flow everything. If you can't afford to cash flow it, then you can't afford it. If you can't have money in the bank to get that new car you want, you can't afford it. Save up the money, then you can get it. And so that's just the way I'm trying to live my life and just not go into any more debt. And I think it's just so important sometimes to see other people doing it because it's inspiring and motivating. You know, sometimes we feel some way ourselves, but sometimes it takes an extra push. And I'm trying to be the extra push for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it benefits you in some type of way and just teaches you something or just helps you in some type of way. I hope I can be a motivation for you guys. And please be a motivation for me too because I need it just as much. I thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.